Hi, Brian. Uh, how would you describe the way that Kyle kind of shook off his shooting night to come alive in the fourth quarter? Yeah, that's what good players do. You find a way. Uh, he was missing some shots early that he usually makes, but put his head down, got to the rim, made some big plays for us down the clutch. But like I said, that's what good players does. Kyle's a good player. How about the pass from Jordan and the shot from Corey? Uh, great. You know, we were we had a matchup we wanted. They trapped him, and Jordan trusted it, made an unbelievable pass to Corey in the corner. Big shot, but a great pass. Way to trust. Hey, Coach. Uh, Tristan made his NBA debut tonight. Yep. Um, what do you foresee the plan being for him going forward in terms of acclimating him to the NBA? Yeah, he's part of our group, uh, so we'll, we're going to use him. Uh, that's what we do. He's you know already been here getting ready, getting used to our system. You know, he got, he got his first career rebound tonight, so I was happy for him. Um, but we're excited to have him here. And we're have, he wanted to be here. He wanted to be part of our group, our team, which is a big deal. And we're excited to have him in our development program. What do you think he does well? What, what can he contribute? Basketball IQ, passing, obviously spacing the court with his shooting, but a good playmaker. Uh, I think those are the things we've seen so far. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, limiting Sacramento to 102 and now Toronto to 109. Um, what's been going well defensively? You know, I, I, I want to make this a point before we go too far. You know, Johnny Davis, Patrick Ball Jr., they gave us great lift when they came in the game tonight. Big energy, block shots, hustle plays. Um, Sean Holmes, big on the boards tonight. Uh, nice to have Marvin Bagley back at a great second half. But Johnny and uh, Patrick. Great energy for us tonight. When we were we were struggling to find some stuff, they came in, especially that third quarter. Both of those guys were helpful at the beginning. The fourth, um, happy for them. Just just winning two in a row here. What does that do for a group's confidence as you're trying to build for for a young team and, and kind of figure th figure things out? Uh, always great to get the win, but we're completely locked into the day to day process. Um, so the, one of the things that we were pl pleased with tonight, you know, we weren't playing great the whole game. They made a run. But we had resiliency. I think we've shown that recently. And those are the things that we're looking to grow. Those are habits that you can build. So we're looking as we finish the season to continue to build habits. And one of those habits is when tough things happen during a game, what do you do? And I think the last couple of games, we've shown that we can, we can withstand that and make a nice run at the end. So happy for our group, but it's all about getting better the rest of the season. How did Marvin look in his return to you? Marvin was great. You know, what do you end up with? 10 and 8, you know, in limited minutes. You know, Marvin always fills up the stat sheet, especially in the second half. I thought he was great. He was on the offensive board, finishing, two block shots. So just to his activity, uh, nice to have him back on the court. Thank you. Uh, Tristan made his NBA debut tonight. What did you think? Um, he was for a short period of time, but I feel I feel like um, you know it's the first time being on the NBA court. It's it's tough. Like um, he got a good board. It's his first stat. Um, still looking for his first point. So uh, you know he's really talented. I think once he figures it out on the court, uh, figures the pace of the game, he's gonna be really good. Uh, you guys limited Sacramento to 102 uh, a couple of games ago, and you limited Toronto to 109 tonight. So what's been going well defensively? I think tonight defensively Warren is great. As Sacramento, um, they were struggling a little bit offensively, um, but it, uh, it, like when we needed to tighten it up, we did. Uh, it was a scrappy game; wasn't the night like the the nicest game, but we managed to come away with the win, play some good defense, and I feel like we can learn from it for sure. Speaking of uh, being scrappy, just how would you describe that final sequence, the last plays? You guys tried to make sure he didn't tie it. Um. I think we gave the best effort we could have got. Um, you know, obviously I was really upset missing those two free throws. Um, felt like it wasn't me. Um, you know, even though we won, I was so down on myself because it's it's not me to miss free throws in money time. Like I I've faced it throughout my whole career, and usually I'm, I knocked them down. So, but the teammates were great. Like my teammates came to like to me and supported me, um, which which made me feel good, but eventually as a team, I think uh, we did a great job at the end. Um, also communicating on screens, making sure uh, we're um, taking the right shots. Corey hit a big corner three. Um, so I think it was a, a really good team win for sure. 
How about the way that Kuz kind of got past an off shooting night in the first three quarters to really um, play so well in the fourth quarter? That's what big players do. And they feel like, you know, sometimes it's not going to go your way. At the beginning of the game, you know, some nights are just off. But the the real evaluation comes when, like, we need you. Like, we need Kuz to be good. We need him to um, to be focused. And I feel like when he turned it up, like, it's a big, 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 uh, uh, big play for, for us as a team and for him. And, um, you know, uh, big-time players make big-time plays, so. I'm happy for him. Denny, your uh, offensive aggression has been on display this whole year, but on nights like tonight where uh, Kyle and Jordan kind of struggle for the first three quarters, does that turn something on in your head like I got to put the game in my hands now? I'm not stressing about I'm not really thinking about it. I'm, I'm going to be aggressive regardless, taking the right shots, making the right plays. Like uh, Even though when I'm getting going a little bit, I'm still looking out for my teammates. Um, uh, I'm still looking for open shots. and. Um, I feel like it's just it just come naturally. Like when I don't chase and stress about it, I feel like, yeah, sometimes I'll need to step it up a little bit more or some sometimes I'm gonna have maybe an off night and other guys will need to step it up, but it's part of uh it's part of a team. So um I feel like I was aggressive tonight. Um uh, struggled a little bit in the fourth quarter, but I feel like I still managed to be good on defense and be solid and um that's about it. Thank you. It felt amazing. It was kind of unexpected in a way, but uh, you know, I was very happy to be, let's say, thrown in the fire and uh, be be out there. You know, I haven't played since like January a lot of games in Europe, so you know, I was just happy to to play the sport I love. What was it like uh, feeling NBA experience for the first time? How did it compare to uh, what you're used to? It was amazing. It's you know, dream come true. So even today at the hotel, I was like nervous. I was like, damn, like, I may play my first my first NBA game today. It may happen. You know, so I'm very happy. I'm very glad it happened, and I will obviously want to thank. The Wizards for making that possible. First one down. What's, what are some of the things that you learned from your first game? Uh, be ready. You know, uh, you never know when what will happen, what scenario will be, will happen in the court. And uh, like I said, just be ready to go out there and play. Have you checked your phone yet? Is it blowing up? No, I haven't. My my people in Europe are sleeping now. So <laughs> tomorrow when they wake up, in a couple of hours of waking up, so probably then I'll, I'll get I'll get some messages. Despite the time change, or you. Do you know if you, like your parents were able to watch or anybody in your family? Uh, I don't think so. Since they haven't texted me, the, they probably were sleeping. <laughs> Tristan, what do you anticipate the biggest adjustment being going from playing in Europe to playing? I, I mean, it's a it's a different game. I think it's more fast pace, uh, less plays. I think Europe is just more like textbook basketball, and that's just something I have to I have to learn. You know, it's a it's a learning process. The speed, the pace, and everything. If we rewind a year when you were playing for uh, Partizan, did you think that you would be here a year? Yeah. Like, did. Yeah. You expected it? Yeah. Where were you when you got the call? That you were uh, I was having dinner with some teammates. Really? Yeah. Nice. Did they freak out when they found out? Oh, no, I, I didn't tell them. <laughs> I kept quiet until it was all done. What makes the atmosphere in Europe so crazy, like with the fans and everything? I mean, it's just they're allowed, you know, 24 7, the whole, even like after the game, they're cheering and everything. And, uh, you know, it's it's different culture. I think there it's more like they're more into it, like in the whole thing. You know, both sides have their upside and their downside, but uh, you know, it's nice. Do you think that kind of prepared you for anything? Because parties on went uh, viral early this year for like the fire. Yeah, the I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know. They just basketball. You don't really look at. I mean, I don't really look at what's happening around me. Uh, you know, you just in the four four corners. You know, just doing what you love. So. What kind of things? I know you're sitting on the bench. Uh, Anthony Gill's pulling you aside. Yeah. Chris Jones pulling you yeah. aside. What kind of things are your teammates telling you? You know, they're just helping me. You know, transition to uh, to the NBA and you know, teaching me what to do, what not to do, uh, like my positioning, because uh, it's it's very different. So like Gill was doing a good job on you know telling me where to be at, what to do, because he was in Europe and he he knew how the transition is, and you know, I'm very glad that he's helping me. And then you know, Tyus also, we were talking there, and I mean, with everyone, I'm just uh, I'm just happy to be here. Huh? Where do you think you've grown from the last time we saw you in Vegas uh, in the summer league to now? I think like mentally I've, uh, I've been more prepared and uh, I've just been working on my game and you know uh, seeing what I can do better and uh, that's it. For Wizards fans who might not know, what are your biggest strengths as a player and what are you still working on specifically to try to do? Just being me, you know, uh, helping the team, you know, uh, bring good energy, shooting the ball, being aggressive, that's pretty much it. 
think Denny said uh, earlier this week that you two got dinner together? Yes. So how'd that go? Yeah, it was good. You know, he was also telling the ins and outs of everything, you know, m making me feel welcomed. Uh, I have to teach him some, some Serbian, you know, because his dad's Serbian. So I'll do that. My job for him is to, to teach him some Serbian. Why, why'd you choose uh, number double zero? If I'm being honest, I really didn't have much of a choice. There's not a lot of numbers available, so <laughs> that was pretty much the only thing left. Off the court, how's your transition to living in the United States been being DC? I mean, I've been here. I've, I did the car mine in Chicago. I came here a couple of uh, summers, you know, to work out. So it's not like something totally new to me. I mean, it is new, you know, I'm trying to find a place to stay, a car and everything. So, you know, but everybody's been, you know, very helpful in the organization. So it's been easy. Thanks for saying. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.